I think, at least I hope, that all of us carry a fundamental belief that music study is really important, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know how much more research can be done um, to prove that music is like wildly beneficial to the totality of human development, <laughs> right? So, you know, on every, le on every level, we know this, neurologically, emotionally, physically, like music is good for us, right? And of course, you already know that. But <laughs> what I think that sometimes we can lose sight of is that in essence, when we believe this, like we are the torch bearers <laughs> to future generations of this love and of the importance of music, right? So if we're going to be these torch bearers, <laughs> then we have to also understand that our vehicle to get this information into our students, you know, brains and bodies is ultimately falling back to the relationship of, you know, that we develop with those students and with their families. You know, we are shaping how our studio parents are talking about music study out in the community. And of course, we're shaping these young lives of, you know, what they think about music study and if it's important or not, and if it's enjoyable or not. And so not only are we shaping their lives, but then in future generations, you know, their impression of the importance of music study is really important. <laughs> so I'm not trying to freak you out with this big pressure of, you know, the future of music is in our hands. <laughs> but we do play a pretty significant role in that, don't we? <laughs> so if we consider this framework, then we have to understand that relationships are, again, the vehicle for which we are getting this information into our students, right? Um, so like it or not, <laughs> the actual musical knowledge that we are imparting to our students is, yes, important, but it's not really always as important as the relationship that we're forming in our studios. And so that's why this all just hits me so hard. I am a firm believer that there is nothing more powerful than a shared experience. I mean, look at us right now. <laughs> we are sharing this moment right now together, right? Uh, you know, you signed on for this webinar live for a reason, you know, to be part of this moment with me, which thanks, by the way, that's awesome. <laughs> so that teacher-student relationship is so important because we spend time, lots of time at that, <laughs> with these students. And the time that we spend with them happens to be times when they are working through a lot of strong emotions, right? So, you know, and their strong emotions are part of their whole lives, of course, but we are the ones sitting with them while they are celebrating, you know, a job well done or while they're struggling through new information. We're the ones there encouraging them. Right. Or um, we are there just kind of helping comfort them when things don't go exactly how they want them to. And we're also there to challenge them when they need a little kick in the tail. Right. <laughs> so, you know, we become part of their lives and their life stories, you know, for all of these events. You know, if you think about the myriad of emotions that come through in performance events, <laughs> recitals, festivals, competitions, all of those things, you know, they feel nervous, they feel excited, they feel disappointed sometimes. And we are part of all of those strong emotions. And what we know is that strong emotions create strong memories. <laughs> so that is, again, why it's so important that we are really focused on the relationship between teacher, student, and family. And of course, I like to point out that as they have these strong memories, <laughs> they're also creating lasting impressions of the people that are there experiencing it with them like their piano teachers. <laughs>